That entire set. Yeah. I mean, he got one out of, I think, five <laughs> that actually hit. Yeah, so. and it's so punishable that, I don't know, it's scary. But and that's going to lead us to our very last match of the quarters, Challenge which is going to be uh, the God of Destruction. God of Destruction. Versus Total Showtime. God. Showtime Such Showtime. an anticlimactic name <laughs> so next to <laughs> Destruction God A. Is that what it's saying? <laughs> Destruction God X. Oh my goodness. All right, so yeah, Destruction God or God of Destruction. If he had maybe an X between each one of those, like X Destruction, X God X, <laughs> he would have been unstoppable. But at this point, we might see Showtime be able to stop him. That's true. He, he, he needs to earn those other Xs. That's true. But maybe if he beats Showtime, he gets another X in his name. Maybe like, it's just Destruction God 10. Maybe he's the 10th variation oh, of the Destruction That's God. true. That's true. Or like, like, I think that's actually what it means. I, I, will, I don't believe it. All right. So first hit. That's a lot of damage. Going to set up a totem here. Oh, my goodness. The damage. This is good. Oh, he dropped it. That could have been upwards of 60%. Ooh, and staggering those strings. Very hard to deal with. And Showtime hasn't even gotten a hit off. Oh, but here, oh, we, here go. we go. But it's it. not going to do any damage. All right, luckily, the totem did wear off partway through that combo. All right, and here we go. Showtime's chance. So that's, oh, and that's it. Wow. Yeah, I, mean, I so may have to apologize because God of Destruction is actually putting in some work right now against one of our better players. He is. Uh, Blood God, of course, we get to see Madsen use him pretty much every week in the EU. And we don't really see too many other Blood Gods in general. So seeing God of Destruction, that, that, that's nice. And I did get a little bit of info on him. He has been playing Kotal for a long time. He does use a little bit of Sun God, but okay. not too much War God. Shout out to Han Rashid for the information. Thank you, guys. Nice. You, do you remember when we kind of thought Blood God wasn't all that great? He's just like the weakest of the variations, <laughs> and now it's the most played. Shoot, whoa, goes for the parry. It was swift. What was the double stance? Oh, <laughs> that should have been a punish. Dancing. Stancing? I like it. Stancing? Yeah. That was a missed punish opportunity for God of Destruction. Yeah, and every missed punish opportunity with War or with Blood God is a lot of damage. Yeah. Potentially the kill. Yep. Oh! Just needs chip here. Don't. Oh, this is very dangerous. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Good choice there. You, I mean, of all the characters to let live on a sliver, it is not Blood God. I agree. I mean, or excuse me. Yeah, Blood God. Blood God. You're right. <laughs> I mean, another thing that he could have done right there was actually just backed up, thrown the sunbeam on him, beam on himself, and just tried to heal back up. Yeah. I mean, it's an option. And we've seen that from Madsen. We have. Ooh, oh, what a little wow. combo. He just did an, an arc kick combo. I've never seen that before. All right, so Showtime now bringing it back. Beautiful pressure here. And this is the biggest weakness of Blood God by Absolutely far. Absolutely no wake up here. Yep. Like, he has I mean, nothing with armor. The only thing you could arguably say he has is uh, enhanced parry. Yep, enhanced parry, which is invincible in the first frame. It is. Your respect. Uh, but, I mean, that's all you've got. There and is a new king. You really have to guess right. Because if they bait the that strings. out, that's a full punish. Yep, and on top of that, you don't only have to guess the first hit of the string. A lot of times for quick hitting strings, you have to guess all the hits. Yeah. So, is he going to... You know, it, am I going to have to parry twice, or parry three times, or parry once and then poke? So, it's not... A, on a strong tool, but it is a very rewarding tool. Especially when you get three parries in a row and it leads to 80%. Oh, oh yeah, Ooh. 80, you can get 100. 80, I'm talking about just one uppercut, 80%. Boom. No, just pop. Round pop. One. Fight. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, so we, we are seeing God of Destruction. Let's go back to Blood God. All right, almost the exact same start as the last game. Yeah. There we go, nice jump back to the air to air. Showtime going for the overhead, a low overhead. Goes for the command grab that time. Now, a good option for God of Destruction might be to parry after the military stance. I like that Showtime just dropped his combo, realizing that that Obsidian Totem was out. It was good. Just get that other mix up, let go away. Now, one other thing that the Totem does. Oh, no. Oh, this oh, should be big. huge. Oh, he could have actually summoned a, a damage totem and killed him in that situation, but right, there we go. Strong by God of Destruction. This has been a very momentum-based match. Yeah. Ooh, now he's going to have to get out of the corner again. But there is an interactable on that wall that lets him jump out. That's one thing that characters who have bad armor or yeah, no armor yeah. really need to use is interactables, meter burn interactables. 
Are we seeing a lot of these neutral stance into grabs? Right, God of Destruction is going to get out of the corner. There we go. Oh, that was the punish he was looking for. That is, again, here we go. Again, he's, he's going to back one a lot, which is a yeah. string that you can't convert off of without your meter. But he, he needs to be a little bit... Oh, that would have been huge. That would have actually dead. killed... Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. No punish, but... Oh, this could be it, too! Wow. Damn, just kicks him in the face. Kong that damage, that wins. blood god damage, you cannot he disrespect hits it. like a grown man. <laughs> Let me tell you. Like a grown green man. Well, he's actually not there green. New king. He's totally green. No, but but he's not, and it's it's just it's the post and post effect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I'm just saying like, light in his because armor originally than... he's not actually green. His alternate skin, he he has a skin tone, what, a flesh tone. But, but what if what if the green's his actual color, and he put on a bunch of makeup for his alternate because he didn't want him like no, the other so kids to make fun of him? Taking it somewhere. What the other kids? <laughs> yeah, man, the other Outworld kids. Oh my god, he's not even from Outworld. Round one. Right. Fire. I know. All right. Well, I won't question you on more combat lore. All right, now that was unsafe. That was an unsafe starter, but no punish from Showtime. Oh my god, oh. that damage is disgusting. Almost got the conversion that I respected from Showtime. Ooh, an air trade. Hmm, I'm not sure what that full screen parry was supposed to be, but didn't get punished for it. Ooh, gets hit by the low into low. Nice, goes for the hard knockdown with the mix-up. Ooh, interesting choice to jump over, but he manages to get Blood God back into the corner. Blood God of Destruction. Oh, nice. He's been winning the majority of those air to airs too, with Showtime. He Showtime has. burning a lot of meter here, not getting anything for it. Nice block, but no punish. That's very unsafe. He could get over 40% off of that. Want to break. Oh, oh anti by the interactable. Nice block, but no punish. Oh! All right. They're just trading down pokes. Good blocks by both. Nice counter pokes there. Showtime getting the best of it. And now he has God of Destruction in the corner. He's got to make this count. Oh, that could have been huge. That jump back could have led to over 40% again. Down but... two right there from Showtime. Oh, no. Drops his combo. Wow, Showtime... At... As soon as he's in the corner, he stops blocking. I don't know if he's panicking. I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> that was like... Oh, okay. The, the down one combo was, was great. Oh. From Mission of Chris G. <laughs> but, uh, hey, it worked. Yeah. You're right. Evening it up. One game and one round of peace right here. Now, one thing that I would like to see Showtime use... Oh, that was an amazing bait! Oh, that would have been huge damage! Why didn't you break it, Showtime? I wanted to see that. <laughs> he, that was a, a, an extremely cool setup. He set it up into the, the chest cut with the totem out. Oh, my. That was... That was beautiful, but uh, Showtime I had to break it and ruin my dreams. But the problem here is, well, I've noticed Showtime, aside from right there, has been using basically exclusively, wow, basically exclusively, the overhead low string. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, he's mixed it up a bit. Oh, no, he could have got the kill off of that. Uh, that's definitely an issue that I'm seeing with his... Oh, wow. Oh, no. Well, I was about to say that his, his conversions are weak. And he just made one of the best conversions of the night. <laughs> oh, I hate you. I'm so <laughs> dust right now. Oh, oh. that was cool. Oh, that was a great tears. conversion. Man, there's nothing cooler than watching Blood God oh, convert into tears huge damage. in my eyes. <laughs> Can I get some powder, please? <laughs> uh, but yeah, he definitely Man. needs to punish a little bit harder and get some better conversions off of. Basically, a lot of opportunities that he's missing. So basically everything is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, one thing that Showtime didn't do in that set at all, which I don't understand why nobody does, was block in the corner. That, that's and I'm true, not even, but I'm, I'm being honest, he did not block in the corner, and that's yep. what cost him that first round, and then put him in a really bad situation for the for the other round. It did, because not only when you get, uh, not only does he get the combo when he hits you in the corner, Blood God, but he gets to set up a totem, yeah. which then is which like, is absolutely huge. trouble. Yeah, and, but no, but the thing I didn't see them do, or him do, was use parry. He, she has a counter. She her does. Enhanced counter leads yeah. to 40%. And Blood God has 
it doesn't have any other options other than just kind of bowling you with normal. So I'm surprised we're not seeing really any Sonya abuse that move. It also recovers very quickly. Here we go, getting something started, and that totem is about to run out. So this next mix-up is... Should be a lot of damage, doesn't get it though. Oh, this should be big. Oh, he, that wasn't damage totem anyway, but, but still nice still. Break. Oh, and this could be it. Up just needs chip here. And Showtime is just getting caught by almost every single string of normal that Kotal throws out. He is. Just, he needs to really just respect this player more. Yeah, God of Destruction is playing incredibly well. He is. I mean, it's it's not easy to play Blood God. You only have normal. Oh, they're finally using the Garot, but... Yeah, but you see how fast that recovers? Yeah. Super fast. That's with the command grab option. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice little mix-up there. Is that just stand jab? Stand into? jab <laughs> into military stance. Ooh, I don't like that break. I feel like that was a waste of meter right there. That should, actually, I don't know, with that totem out. There we go. That's something we have not seen at all until this match. Every time he, uh, God Instruction goes for the cross-up, always eats the down two, and that's exactly how it should be. Yep. Sony's down two is amazing. It is, it's great. It lowers your hitbox really low. Oh, no conversion again. And he's using a lot more lows now, and I like that. I think he's noticed that God of Destruction has, in fact, blocked almost every overhead though. It's true, and uh, a lot of the lows are hitting him. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, short up jab, I like it. Yeah, they're just really just going in there. I mean, Sonya does have one of the fastest run speeds in the game. Nice. A lot more mix-ups with this military stance cancel. I love it. Oh, he needs to break here. Yep. And oh, that, that jump. This chip, no, not quite. Obsidian, again, we were just in this situation. And beautiful art kick. Good choice by short time. Evening it up, it's going to go to the final game. Oh no, my thing is broke. Sonya wins. It's what she doesn't even use it. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't throw one projectile that entire set. Pay your respect. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's because it's broken. <laughs> she tried. She's like, ah. No, happened? she threw like one or two projectiles. Really? Showtime did. He did. Okay, I believe. Pop a Showtime. Cool. Showtime. Also known as Salt Time. Yes. Which, in fact, he gave himself. Yeah, yeah. That well, not even like a like yeah. a mean nickname. It's like he gave himself that nickname yeah. after. Oh, was it? I think it was MLG Dallas. I think it, I think it was. Or maybe it was a little bit before that. I don't know. Somewhere around that time. But yeah, he gets really salty when he loses. But it's funny because he's like a super nice guy. Yeah, I, he is. He's really awesome. I've met him a bunch of times. But So he always gets really salty if he loses. And then he always apologizes afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. He's no. a good dude. But I mean. He just really wants to win is what it is. He's very passionate about winning. And I can understand that. Respect him. On the path to do so. Wow, just sweep on wake up. You know up. what I wouldn't mind seeing from him is just more grabs on wake up. When he sees that God of Destruction is going for those those uh, delayed wake ups, just wait for him to get up and grab him. That's true. I mean, he actually hasn't done a single yeah. actual throw. Mm -hmm. The set. And you know how I feel about my throws. Love your throws. I love me my throws. Ooh, and that's going to be big. Will the totem run out? Just runs out. Nice. Chooses to put him back into the corner with the leg throw. Good block and what a re. I don't know if you read that back dash. Good stuff from Showtime. Just trading down folks here. And oh. again, that down two. Yes. And they, what's beautiful about that whole situation is this God of Destruction has been getting a lot of free crossovers. Mm -hmm. But now maybe Showtime was training him all along to just do the down twos because he's landed every single one since that last set. Yeah, he's been a real game changer. Oh, okay, here's the potential for damage. Oh, okay, the totem runs out. Missed it right there, though. Of course, as we mentioned it. Oh, right, still has oh. that on. This should prevent most of the damage from this combo. Oh, chose to break. I don't like Good that. Stagger, yeah. I mean, he, he only saved himself 7%, basically. And now he's eating a combo that totem is about to run out, and there it is. This is Showtime's chance. Here we go. Mix up. This shouldn't be quite enough to kill. Wow, he's the meter there. I wonder if he needs to do that. I mean, that. He's, he's about to get another bar meter. He's got to be careful, though. Oh, no punish on the low again. That's huge. Oh, ooh, very close here. Showtime. No punish. Oh, and again, no punish. And oh. Showtime. Showtime takes it. Showtime. <laughs> he needed this. He did. He really needed this. I mean, God Destruction played well, but if one of these two players has a better chance of making finals, it's 100%. 100% Showtime. But I, I am very impressed with that Kotal, though. Win.
Me oh, yeah. too. Me too. I mean, the only thing that he really needed to do was punish more and convert into combos a little bit better. I yes. mean, both of those lows off a of military stance at the end were unsafe. Were, yes, and that, that's punishable. huge damage. I mean, he was back one, two, air grab, 40%, puts him back in the corner. Boom. Momentum. Roasted. Dead. Yeah. yeah. So, congratulations to Showtime finally breaking his curse and getting into the top, <laughs> the top four. Yeah. Yeah, his first it. time in top four. Cut it out. But he's going to have yet another wall to face in Cowboy. Yeah, that's, I, I don't know who's going to choose for that. And then in the top of our bracket, oh man, we're going to have Pig versus Fox. Oh, I didn't even think about how interesting that's yeah, going to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. So Pig versus Fox. And Pig needs these points. He does. Fox could literally care less about points right now. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even... He could just give them away for free. Yeah, he like, could take 100 on my And points. he's still the top seed. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, it's going to be a real barn burner, let me tell you. He's, uh... I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I just want to skip the break. I, I just want to go could. right into it. I <laughs> wish we could. So, that being said, make sure... Not to go anywhere because when we return, we'll have the top four of week seven of the ESL MKX Pro League.